That's right, Dan. That's certainly the hope from the owners of Grillin' and Chillin'. They say they are hoping to be open tomorrow for dine-in patrons. And if they are open tomorrow, they're going to have this sign in one of their windows saying they're ready to open and they're following all necessary protocol. Wednesday night, San Benito County restaurants are prepping to welcome dine-in patrons for the first time in nearly two months. We definitely think there's going to be some excitement. Chuck and Joanne Frovine are scrambling to transform their formerly socially active alehouse into one that's socially compliant with state guidelines. That's the fun part for today. We're going to you know, make it so it's almost like you have directions on where to walk. We have to rearrange our seating, of course. We have to find a hybrid based on what the customers uh, are looking for and then what our team is comfortable doing. Restaurants will have to follow strict protocols, of course, socially distancing customers, but also screening or checking employee temperatures and cleaning mandates of high traffic areas. Customers we spoke with are split about returning to the dine-in experience. You know, I'm not so sure. I think I might want to wait a couple of days. I think we would probably go, and I think as long as it's not super busy. San Benito County gave restaurants the green light after the state approved their attestation document Wednesday stating, among other things, they've met the criteria for testing, they have minimal cases in the past two weeks, and they could take on a potential surge. The surge, however, may not come in the form of patients now, but in people visiting from nearby counties, eager to get a taste of normalcy. If someone from Monterey or Santa Cruz is like, hey, I'm going to go to San Benito County, and you get this influx of people, are you prepared for that? You know, I, I would hope so. I think that we are. I think that our, our, our establishments are, are so well disciplined now, that I think they are prepared for that. Chuck and Joanne think they're ready, and while excited, they feel the pressure of being among the first to open. There's going to be a lot of eyes on us, and so we really want to make sure to take the time and ensure that everyone's safe. And some restaurant owners we spoke with tonight said they're just not ready to make these necessary changes and open just yet. They are going to wait and maybe next week make that decision. Meanwhile, there is a concern about visitors coming, an influx of them, potentially a lot of them coming to one of these counties that just opened. And Westrick told me tonight that would be, quote, a good problem to have. Dan, back to you.